You probably all know the world-famous singer Shakira. Shakira's most watched and most shared music video was La 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 in 2014, sponsored by Activia. The main thing that made this clip different from others was that it combined music and product advertising. The members of the Barcelona Football Club also participated in the clip and introduced the Activia company to the viewers in a fun way. As a result, the video garnered over 100 million likes, over 5 million shares on Facebook alone, and has become the most shared advertising video of all time. This example given and the product promotion used in the example is called an advertainment marketing strategy. But what is the strategy of advertainment, and how is it used in business? What makes it different from other advertising strategies? Simply put, advertainment is a marketing strategy that combines entertainment and product promotion. We can find this marketing method mostly in TV shows, songs, and movies. If we pay attention to the history of this method, this strategy was first used in business in 1927 in the United States of America. So back then, when movies were colorless and silent, companies used first-run movies to grab people's attention. In 1927, a company called Hershey's Candies promoted its product in the American silent war film Wings. As a result, with the sponsorship of the company, the film won several awards and the product was introduced to the audience in a memorable way. Later in the 1930s, business companies began to invest more in radio broadcasting. Because at that time, listening to the radio was more accessible to people than watching television. As a result, during those years, several well-known companies like Procter & Gamble also invested in radio broadcasts and in turn effectively advertised their products to people. In 1982, E.T., in the movie The Extraterrestrial, there was an advertisement for Reese's candy in the form of small pills. This advertisement was more effective than expected, and as a result, sales of this type of candy increased by 56%. In modern times, advertisements of the advertainment type are delivered to viewers, especially through television films and serials. But new music videos of famous singers also play a big role in reaching the audience of this type of advertisement. However, I'd like to point out that the advertising strategy advertainment isn't only used in movies, TV shows, and music videos. Let's now look at other cases where this strategy is used. First, let's talk about animated ads. Statistics show that animated ads are among the most successful promotional strategies today. The peculiar thing about animated ads is that the ads do not directly send the message, buy this product, to viewers. On the contrary, the story of the animation is interesting and effective, making the viewer forget that it's an advertisement. As an example, let's take a look at the animated advertisement made by the cooperation of the world-famous toy company The Lego Group and Warner Brothers. Although this animated advertisement is 2 minutes and 21 seconds long, millions of people have watched and shared this video many times. As a result, both companies have made significant gains from this collaboration. Because this advertising is more focused on attracting the attention of viewers than promoting the product, and it's been successful. In addition, the advertainment business strategy is also used to make books and magazines appear more interesting to readers. For example, Vogue magazine posted video interviews with various celebrities on its website to attract attention of viewers. So people go to the website to watch interviews with singers, actors, and actresses, and as a result, the number of followers and subscribers of the site increases many times. In addition, I'd point out that the advertainment strategy is useful for the company that manufactures and sells the product, as well as for the company that presents the product to the viewer. For example, if any movie, TV series, or TV show advertises its product to the viewers, then they get a sponsor in return for the advertisement. Thus, both manufacturing and supplying companies benefit from this strategy. In the end, I'd emphasize once again that the biggest feature of the advertainment business method is that it does not fall into the category of unsolicited advertising. To put it more clearly, unlike the ads you come across on YouTube or other social networks, you're forced to watch. The main goal of the advertising strategy is to look interesting and entertaining to the viewers. And to date, Many companies using the advertainment business strategy have successfully achieved this goal. Finally, I'd like to ask you, what's the most attractive example of advertainment advertising that you've come across? Share your thoughts in the comments section of the video. Thanks for watching.